I'm Dr. Scott Fuller and happy Earth Day 2020 on April 22nd. This is the 50th Earth Day, which is amazing. And I just want to put out a, such a great thank you to all of the innovators and people that have dedicated their lives to environmental causes and the one planet that we live on here, Earth. EarthDay.org has some great information on it. Of course, there are many other environmental organizations that you can pay attention to. So as I'm wrapping in the environment and COVID-19, three things that I like to open with, I like to say, stop flushing sanitary wipes down the toilet, number one. Number two is please stop throwing your disposable gloves on the ground. They don't belong there, people, please. And number three, when the coronavirus and COVID-19 focus dies down, I hope that we shift our worldwide focus to the environment, to global warming, to pollution, because again, we all live in this one Earth that we have, hence Earth Day. I have a couple of suggestions for you now that you're still stuck at home, likely, and if you have children, now would be the time to raise their awareness of the planet Earth, of the environment, and so forth. So a couple of recommendations is maybe getting into a documentary movie, depending on their ages, obviously age, depend, age um, appropriate. So here I am in Woburn, Massachusetts, so a civil action movie would be something to take a look at uh, with some environmental issues. That one was more pollution and so forth. Uh, an Inconvenient Truth would be a good one to get. And I recently just watched An in Inconvenient Sequel, which I thought was also a good movie wor worth watching. And then you can also bring, bring your kids to one of the environmental organization websites, and there's a variety of movies there too. Well, let me run through a quick list of nutrition documentaries, food documentaries that will also have an impact on environment because we know that food and nutrition is one of the stressors on environment. Here's a whole list of ones, most of which I have watched, a couple of these I have not. F Fed Up, Food Inc., Food Matters, Farmageddon, Gut Milk, King Corn, Fast Food Nation, Forks Over Knives, Super Size Me, That Sugar Film, I need to watch that one, I haven't watched that one, Fat Sick and Nearly Dead, and GMO OMG. There's a list of some good nutrition videos that you could share with your kids with age appropriateness. And uh, the last thing is, is maybe to begin to engage your kids with consumption. Now that you're stuck at home, you can say, okay, children, here we are, we live in this house and we have heating, we have cooling, we have landscaping, we have other things that we uh, consume. Where do these things come from? And this could be part of their education process. We wear clothing. Well, let's look at clothing and look where that comes from and the types of consumption patterns that we have in this house. You can begin to engage them in when products come into the house, what kind of recycling can you do? Maybe you need to look at consumption and say, do we need to be spending all of our money on this? Can we be donating some of the things that we're not using to people that are in more need? donating, recycling, reusing, and so forth. So this would be a good time looking at Earth Day 2020, 50 years of Earth Day now, and getting your children involved. I'm Dr. Scott Fuller. Thank you. Good night and good luck.